So, I have done this lecture hundreds of times, okay? And the first goal is to make it for you. So the thing is, is I sit there and I go, look, I've had people who are, I've had males, I've had females, I've had older people, I've had younger people, I have people that need to lose 100, and I have people that need to lose 10. How do you link everybody up? How do you make it, I want you to have the me principle. I want you to have, this is all about me, okay? Because you're allowed to have that right You don't care if this thing worked for every other person, because if it doesn't work for you, it's a waste of your time, isn't it? Okay, so we don't want you to do that. So we sit there and go, okay. So where do we start? We start with the statistics. What are we doing now? People do all these diets. You got Fit for Life, you got Nutrisystem, you got Slim Fast, you got MediFast, you got OptiFast, you got all these other things. Everybody does now. You, now you got the uh, ketogenic diets, a modified keto, South Beach, tons of them, right? So what we do is we, still, we talk about statistics. So I'm gonna read some stats just real quick. The US is the fattest nation in the world. In 2002, JAMA, Journal of American Medical Association, pretty big journal, like the biggest in the world, uh, said that 64.5% of people were either obese or overweight, and that within the next 10 years, it would be 75. They were right, because we're already past that. Okay, obesity is an epidemic. It's the second largest preventable cause of death. The, the first, does anybody know the first? Smoking. Preventable cause of death. Smoking is number one. Okay. 15% of ages 6 to 19, Marin, how old are you? 21. Yeah, so you passed that. But 15% uh, of 6 to 19 year olds are, are, um, are overweight and that has tripled in the last three decades. Okay. Uh, in, in 2004, there were 125,000 gastric bypasses. So what is our society we want? We want what we want, when we want it, we want it now, we want it easy. That doesn't make it work. That just makes it is, okay? So now they're finding that those people are gaining the weight back. Why? Because they never were taught how to eat in the first place. They never fixed that. They cut their stomach in half. Well, now all of a sudden the cells start to expand their size, or if it's relative to number, or whatever, the bottom line is now they're gaining the weight back. What do you do now? You already pulled out the bazooka to kill an ant. You don't want to do that. Okay, so it's predicted by 2020 Hello, 2020, that, every, that one out of every $5 will be spent on weight-related issues. It already is, okay? So you think of all the things that are related to weight issues. Diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol, all those things are related. Look, one of the biggest things, and this is one of the things right now that, that makes this lecture even more important, is COVID. COVID. What is, 98% of the people who were diagnosed with COVID and the people who died, 98% of those people have comorbidities, they have something else going on. Could be lung issues. Now, somebody young like you, Mary, you sit there and go, well, what about asthma? What about allergies? Does that affect it at all? They don't know enough about it yet. But the bottom line is, if you do right for all of these things, you do right for that too, because you boost your immune system. Okay, so the average American consumes how many pounds of sugar per year? Anybody know? I'm gonna guess. Yeah, too many. 170 pounds per year. So that means if that's an average, that means there's kids that are doing 400 pounds and they think it's totally fine. So you sit there and go, that's crazy. The biggest issue is not 170 for me. The biggest issue that was that 100 years ago, which in our lifetime is a long time, but in the span of time, it's a, it's a blink, right? In, a, in that, We've gone up from 10 pounds to 170 pounds. That's quick. That is way too much. That's why we have too many people with diabetes. Diabetes is my pet peeve. I'm gonna talk about it in a minute. It is my pet peeve. I would like to make it so that your brother's never diabetic, your husband's never diabetic, your kids are never diabetic. You should never be a type two diabetic ever. Because you know what type two diabetes is? It's your pancreas saying I've had enough. You have beat me up for so many years and now you want me to behave? <laughs> You want me to work extra hours? What if I said to you, I'm gonna make you work extra hours, I'm not gonna pay you more, in fact, I'm gonna pay you less, and you better like it. So you better go, I have out if I quit. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that. Now, one of the things uh, average uh, consumer is 200 pounds of white flour. So there's one thing that we use a lot of times, we say, look, you know, that's not that big brutal, but you go, um, the three white no's, white sugar, white flour, and salt. 
Now, when I say salt, I don't mean unrefined sea salt. We use that all the time. Unrefined sea salt is fantastic for you. It tastes great and it's fantastic for you. Refine the white stuff that is, you know, in the little container you buy from ShopRite. That's the stuff that, that raises blood pressure and is not as good as because it's sodium chloride. All the nutrients went out of it. If you ever did the, you ever see the Himalayan? Yeah. It's like, hey, that's great for you. That lowers blood pressure because it dilates the vessels, so it's fabulous for you. Anyway, so one of the things that I did when I first did my very first lecture, I said, I want to show people how much sugar they're doing and they don't even know. So what I did was I picked five things. I said, I'm going to do uh, an egg waffle because kids like egg waffles. Let me see what that is. So I took the amount of sugar in each one of those. So I did an egg waffle. I did a 20 ounce soda. Yeah, we all know we're not supposed to drink soda. Okay, 20 ounce soda. I did one bagel, okay? Because a lot of guys, husbands will do a bagel in the morning for breakfast with their coffee and they don't have anything for lunch. They come home for dinner and they have a reasonable dinner in there, 75 pounds of wood. How could that be? But that's because it's not just about calories, that's why. I did one grape nut cereal cup. Did you ever see what a cup of cereal looks like? There's nobody who eats a cup of cereal. It's so small. It's like ridiculous. Anyway, and then uh, and, and a 20 ounce slim fast, because a lot of people do slim fast, right? So, oh, we'll do slim fast. I'm going to lose weight because I do slim fast. One 20 ounce slim, slim fast. Now, the amount of, uh, I'm just going to read this because it's quick, right? The way egg and waffle had five teaspoons of sugar. The 20 ounce soda had 14 teaspoons of sugar. The bagel had six tablespoons of sugar. Six tablespoons. Now, one year blood sugar is elevated all day. The grape nut cereal had 23 and a half te uh, teaspoons. 23 and a half. And the, great, and the Slim Fast had seven tablespoons in a Slim Fast. So you might drink sugar water and do better. Whoa, that's not bad. Anyway, okay. So then I go and say, look, these are the statistics. They don't lie. They're here and they're here now. So what can we do about it? Well, eat right and exercise and you'll be totally fine. I just told you what everybody says, right? I lower the calories and, and eat low fat and, and everybody loses weight. Then why are we going up as a society in weight? Why, why isn't it working? And we keep doing the same thing, so why do we keep doing the same thing? Let's change. So let me just read a couple of things off. Uh, let, I'll, I'll read this first because this is just some stuff that, that I had and I'll, I'll ask you if you agree with this. This says the American diet, 25% uh, of the population of Americans are, are the fattest on the planet in 1986 and the 39 billion spent on conditions. We rely on processed foods, okay? So we have the worst diet, in the, one of the worst diets in the world. You sit there and go, well, Americans are getting fatter. Well, we know that. That's what's happening. Okay, so here's the thing. I did this. I wrote this out in 1989. Well, that's no good. Hasn't changed in that many years. That's almost, what, 30-something years? Whatever, right? So then we look and say, let's go to current stuff. Everything you uh, know about nutrition was wrong. Well, that's a great thing to say, right? This is from Men's Health. So it said some of the rules that we're doing, the rules aren't right. They're not wrong. You're bought into something that has been a lie, and you just facilitate the same thing. This is a good one because it says less carbs, more fat. Now, you know, most diets are telling you to eat low fat, right? You gotta eat low fat. You gotta cut down, the, cut the, cut the fat off the, off the meat. Okay, eat less carbs, get more fat. Okay, you can do that. So we'll talk about that. Now, I'm gonna read this off to you, and I want you to tell me if you agree with it. It says the consumption of sugar and other relatively pure carbohydrates has become so great in recent years that it presents a serious obstacle to the improved nutrition of the general public, right? It's not saying it kills you. It says it creates an obstacle. Okay, weight is an obstacle, blah, 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 diabetes, all the things I mentioned. Now, that was done, that was written by the, in the American Medical Association, that's big. Okay, 1942, World War II. Now, this supplies now, it's still there now, and we haven't figured it out? Okay, so people go, well, you hate sugar. No, I love sugar, it's delicious, <laughs> fabulous, love it. Except when you're trying to lose weight, sugar is the enemy. Right now, when you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to tone, it's the enemy. Why? Because of its effect on your system. 
when sugar's high, insulin is high. If insulin is high, fat burning is low. If there's something I want you to take home, it's when insulin is high, fat burning is low. It doesn't mean it doesn't do it. It just means it doesn't do it well. So it's like if you said, I'm gonna light a fire in the backyard by the, by the, uh, by the lake, and I'm gonna put two snatches and we're gonna light a fire. Isn't that a fire? That's not a lie, right? We're lighting a fire. But is it a big fire? Is it gonna keep you warm at all? Is it gonna keep the bugs away at all? No. So let's not do that. Let's make it effective. So what we do is we say, we need to drop the sugar so that the insulin level goes down. So if the insulin level goes down, what happens to fat burning? It comes up. Now it goes up. That's how women lose three to four, men lose five to seven, typically. Okay? I don't like the thing that comes out and says results not typical. If you see Valerie Bertinelli, she looks great. The problem is, is that little statement in the, on the white box that's about this big says results not typical. Okay, I don't want to hear that. I want to know what the typical results are. Oh, you're not going to lose any weight. You're going to gain it all back no matter what you do. Okay, great. I don't want that program. Okay? Like I said, I don't like, I, I don't like Nutrisystem because what do they say? Eat the food, lose the weight. Stupid. Just do what I tell you. Okay, that's not acceptable. I don't, I don't, I don't buy those things. I want something that you say, I'm gonna use it for now, and when I'm off it, I'm gonna know what to do on my own so that I can do it on my own, so that I don't have to rely on you, doctor, to make it so that I'm eating healthy for the rest of my life. How about always making a better choice? See, we tell people, we always tell people that I don't need you to be perfect. I need you to make a better choice than you used to. And guess what happens if you do that? If you do that, you're always going in the right direction. So if you wanted to go from here to Pennsylvania, and every time you got out to Newton, you turned around and headed east, okay, when do you get to Pennsylvania? You never get there. You just, you, oh, but, but you're trying, you're walking. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask that, I said, when do I get to Pennsylvania? Okay, so I'm gonna read a couple statistics just about diabetes, because like I said, it's a pet peeve of mine. Diabetes is the, is the pancreas saying I've had enough. Sometimes it's, it's, it's um, uh, autoimmune, sometimes it's, um, you know, it's genetic, but most are not, and uh, I'll read you this. Uh, there are 30 million diabetics, U.S. statistics in, two, in 2018. There were 30 million diabetics, 95% are type two diabetics. That's preventable. You don't want to be a type two diabetic because you can prevent it. There are 7.2 million, not including in this, 7.2 million undiagnosed Diabetics, that's people who are like, you know, I sit there and go, I'm not going. I'll go, well, yeah, I feel a little lousy today, but I'm, I'll be good. Um, uh, the total cost is $327 billion. Hello. Uh, there are 75 FDA approved drugs to treat diabetes. Hello. Um, it's estimated that 50% of kids, I already said that, will be diabetics. There are 85 million pre diabetics. You know what that means? That means the pipeline is never ending. It's almost like Disney. They'll run out of ideas before they run out of land in Orlando, okay? So, it's the seventh leading cause of death. You wanna reduce your risk of that. But you know what, what else? You wanna reduce your risk of COVID. So it's not because you're doing this because you've got COVID, you're doing this to say, I want my immune system good, I wanna do everything I can do so I don't have to depend on a scientist who keeps saying and changing the rules of what are we supposed to do? How long are we gonna wear these masks? Forever? The new normal, what's normal about it? It's new, but what makes it normal? I'm gonna wear a mask for the rest of my life, really. If I go fishing out on a boat, I gotta wear a mask. If there's nobody around, we're six feet apart, I gotta do that. If I go in my pool, I'm allowed to eat. Oh, okay, why? Because I don't chew, I'm like, okay, that spreads, okay. Anyway, so we go through and we sit there and we go, you know, like I grab props over the years and I sit there and I go, toxic sugar becomes mainstream, solving the protein problem. Uh, protein shoppers, if it says protein on it, you buy it. Here's the problem. They tell you exactly what they want you to know. They don't tell you things you don't want to you know. So I saw a baby Ruth bar and it said four grams of protein, right? You sit there and go, okay, well, that's great. But it doesn't tell you that it had 37 grams of carbohydrate, which is sugar. So you see that the sugar goes through the ceiling and gave you a little bit of protein. You know why this protein is? Because it's got peanuts. That's why. But we want to sit there and go, okay, we want to cut through that stuff. So I'm going to give you some things. But let's just go through. The price of America's obesity.
okay? One of the great, what's the most artificial weight loss ever? I'm gonna tell you the answer because you never get it. The biggest loser. Those people that lost that dramatic weight like crazy, 250 pounds in like, you know, six weeks and nine months or whatever the hell it was, you sit there and go, wait a minute. You quit your job, you have a personal trainer 24 seven, you have a nutritionist, you have all these things, everybody's there until what happens? You lose the contest. As soon as you lose your contest, you're not making the money. So guess where those people go? Good luck, see ya, have a great life. Even the people who won gained it back. Like, so many people gained it back. Anyway, so that's that. So, what we try to do is, like I said, we sit there and go, okay, let's show you some of the things that happens every day. This says elite high protein cereal. Man, if you saw this at a, at a store, wouldn't you think that's really good? It says 27 grams of protein. You see the way that is? Wow, that's fabulous. Except it doesn't tell you it's got 34 grams of carbohydrate. This came from GNC. Well, GNC always sells good stuff. No, they sell anything that people have enough money to put in the store, okay? But this is, so that's that. This, this is an Oreo cookie. It says, oh, five gram, tells you everything. There's nothing wrong with the calories. It's 100 calories. That's fabulous, right? Okay, but it doesn't tell you how many carbs because you have to look over here and say, wait a minute, let me go to the carb level. And the carb level is, it's got eight grams of sugar. It's got 19 grams of carbs in this little bit, okay? So now you're elevating your blood sugar, then what happens is to your fat burning, what do we say? When sugar's high, fat burning is low. So you say, now I'm gonna play the calorie game. I'm gonna eat low calorie and I'm gonna work out, right? So you go to work out, you work out for an hour. You burn, let's say you burn 400 calories, 500 calories. 500 calories is a typical lunch, right? That would be a good lunch for most dietitians on the planet. Right, they'd say, that's good. Okay, so you just worked out for an hour just to keep you exactly where you wanted to be, where you didn't want to be. Because if you wanted to be there, you wouldn't go work out, right? You say, you know what? Let me just hang out at the pool. So we don't want you to do that. We want to say, look, let's, another analogy would be play tic-tac-toe. Let's play tic-tac-toe. Here's the problem. I will never let you win because I'm competitive. So I'm not gonna let you win. I'm not gonna make a mistake. I'm never gonna let you win, but we're gonna keep playing. And we're gonna play until you get tired. You sit there and go, this is boring, because I can't win this game. Well, that's what happens with weight loss, where people don't understand the rules. So we wanna change the rules. Let's change the rules. And make it so that you can get to exactly where you wanna be, you can get to exactly where you wanna be. How about we get to that? Because isn't that the reason why people do diets in the first place? Oh, I'm gonna do a diet so I don't lose 30 pounds. I'm just gonna stay just the way I am but I really want to torture myself. Nobody says that. That'd be ridiculous. Anyway, so a lot of times people will come in and they'll say, oh, I do Weight Watchers, I do another diet. I say, great, can you tell me what kind of ketchup you buy? And they say, oh, the one that's on sale. And I say, no, wrong answer. You want the one with the lowest sugar or the highest sugar? The lowest sugar, how do you know? Well, look at the numbers. I'm gonna show you some rules that you're gonna to learn today, whether you ever do this or not. I'm gonna teach you a philosophy that you can use over and over and over, and it helps you. That's what we do. When we're teaching you this program, we teach you how to get off of it from the first day you're on it. Nobody does that. They really don't. They want you to be on it as long as possible. I sit there and go, no, I want you to be good. I want you to be done yesterday. But you can't do that. You gotta to get to the way that means today. So this one, instead of having five grams of carbohydrate, it only has one gram. Okay, isn't that better? Okay, so let's go to those. This is a perfect one here. This is called Kitchen Basic. So there is Swanson uh, College Inn. Uh, Pacific is a good one though. But this one, or there's the store brand, right? Very good. The store brand, and you go, which one should you buy? Well, look what this says, five times the amount of protein. It doesn't have the other thing. If you read the ingredients, this has like bay leaf and onion and garlic powder and all great things. The other one, it should say plastic soup. Well, if it said plastic soup, would you buy it? Would your dad have it at the restaurant? No way. No, because it's garbage for you. So, this is just a little bit of things over and over. Now, what I like to do is I sit there and I go, look, we do, we recommend Ideal Protein because we utilized it for 10 years. We know people get results. What we have to do is we have to teach people how to get off of it. 
because that's what people say, you know, you do this, and I, I gained it all back. I said, why'd you get it all back? Well, because I didn't listen to what you said. I started to do everything the way I wanted to do it. I don't want to have a program where I, I have to eat the dehydrated burger for the rest of my life, and I have to do that because you told me to. If I told you you can never have an ice cream again, what's the first thing you want? Ice cream. Ice cream. So you sit there and go, all right, how about if we don't do that? So we do, I want to give you the end game. Ideal protein end game. So I want you to think right now, you just lost every ounce that you wanted to lose. You feel great, you look great, everybody tells you you're unbelievable, this is the fabulous thing. You look at some of these pictures of this, and this guy lost 70 something pounds, had a bet that he would gain it back, and won the bet, because he didn't gain it back. So you sit there and go, okay, so I got all this stuff. I'm gonna now give you your end game philosophy. Rule number one, always positives. Now people think always positives means positive mental attitude. No, no, you have that anyway, because you look fabulous, your boyfriend tells you you look great, your husband tells you you look great, everybody tells you you look, you know. No, no, that's not there, that's not the issue. Always positives is the ratio between protein and carbohydrates. Now, remember what I said, carbohydrates is sugar, right? So we want to keep that low, so we don't want that high. So we're going to give you a way to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to learn how to look at labels, not just labels from us, labels from the store. So you guys can go in the store tomorrow and go walk down the aisle and just say, let me see if what he said was true. Let me check. So you're going to look at two things. You're going to look at the carbohydrate level and the protein level. You're always going to put the higher number on top because if you always put the higher number on top, you'll never get a fraction. We have fractions are confusing. Fractions are bad. So if you put one over two, that's a half. That's a fraction. No, no, I don't understand those things. Good. So now, if you have two, and you put two grams on top, and only one on the bottom, two over one is two. It's just a whole number, right? Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the two things. So did I mention fat at all? No, don't worry about fat. Most people don't sit there and go, I wanna go on a diet so that I'm gonna eat tons of fat. Although some of the ketogenic diets are 50 to 70% fat. I have no problem with that because they're still worried about their, they work on the ratio. The problem is, is how do you get off of them? when you're so used to eating 70% or 50 or 60% fat. So we say, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the higher number on top and the lower number at the bottom. So if you had, let's say, 16 grams of protein and, and 12 grams of carbs, right? Which number goes on top? 16. 16. All I then want you to do is say, how many times does the bottom number go into the top number? How many times is 12 going to 16? With how many left over? It's a 1.4. That's it, it's really simple. I don't need you to fraction it out again. You say 1.4, and then you say 1.7, and it can go up to 1.9. What happens after 1.9? Two. So now, you will always make a better choice. Sometimes people come in and I'll throw out numbers, and they give me a number, oh, it's about something, something, one point something. I go, no, not the answer I want. I need you to say, this one goes on top, this one goes on the bottom, lower number goes into how much, and you go, okay, so 1.6. Okay, if, it's, if we're talking sugar, we want the sugar lower. So if you said, I can get a 0.6 versus a 1.6, the 0.6 is way better, okay? So if you have 30, people go, no, I would never have 30. I would never have 30 carbs. A minus 30, see, that's the way we calculate it. If we said, if, it's, if the carbs is higher, Okay? If the carb number is the higher number, then you're gonna put a minus on it. And we say, what was our first rule I told you? Always, pl always, pl always positive, right? Always positive, not a negative number. So if you do a negative, you are now breaking the rules. So I'm gonna give you an example. Weight Watchers tells you, eat the, um, the uh, oatmeal. Okay, if you look at oatmeal, oatmeal is 35 grams of carbohydrate. Got it right here, ready? 35 grams of carbohydrate, two grams of protein. So the carbohydrate goes on top, right? Well, it's a carb number, right? How many times does two go into 35? 17, with how many left over? One, 17.1. So it's 17.1, but is it a plus number or a minus number? Minus. Minus, do you wanna do that? So you're not making one mistake, you're making 17 mistakes. That's how people sabotage. Weight Watchers tells you you should have this three days a week. 
uh, we don't tell you you should have, no, we'll get you something else, we'll figure out other ways to do it. But, so we go, no, we don't wanna do that, so let me just show you. So what we do is we make you do this. Why? Because you learn from this, okay? So this has, here's an example. This has 18 grams of protein and two grams of carbs. How many times does two go into 18? Nine. 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 Is it a plus number or a minus number? Well, the protein is higher, so it's a plus. So this is a plus nine, that's good. So then you go this one. How many times does 13 go into 15? One. How many times, how, what's left over? Two. 1.2, plus or minus. Well, the protein's higher, so it's a plus. So that's what you're gonna do with your own food. Over and over. So you're always gonna make a better choice. You're always gonna be able to do that. And if you always do that, guess what? You never have to think about it. Now people will go, well, that means I have to eat your food for forever. No, no, no. Chicken, turkey, fish, red meat, eggs, tofu, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, cucumbers, green leafies. Why can't you have those things? You can. Okay. So now we got that. So we take took care of that. Rule number two. Second rule of I want to keep this off. The higher the plus, the better. So I'm gonna use an analogy because it's much easier to show you the analogy. I have a $20 bill here, I have two singles here. You get to choose which one you want, which one you want. Smart girl, right? You want the 20 bucks. Okay, now, like the rules before, I'm gonna change the rules. So Lee, if I said you got a $20 bill here, you got $2 here, but if this $2 is very lonely, so you take the $2, I'm gonna replace it. Every time you take $2, I'm gonna replace that from now until next uh, December. Okay, now which one do you want? $2. Okay, why? Because you can do 20, you can do $2 10 times and then you're equal. But any time after that, you're better. Okay, so we just changed the rules. So the higher the plus is better, but that doesn't make a low plus bad, okay? Rule number three, we all make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. You might have somebody's birthday, your son's birthday, or your whatever. But we all make mistakes, so correct the mistake and move on. So if you do a minus, just change the minus into a plus. Exercise, go for a walk a little bit longer. That's where exercise matters. Go for an extra 10 minutes or 15 minutes the next day. You can't do it three months from now, though. It doesn't work that way, right? So you sit there and go, okay, I'm gonna exercise a little bit. I like to exercise, it makes me sweat. Great, I feel better about myself. Good, my emotions feel better. My um, cholesterol level is there, all that good stuff. Okay, great. So, rule number four, because you guys are now experts. I want you to finish my rule. Never, ever, ever do a minus and follow it by another minus. That's what you don't want to do. So don't make two mistakes in a row, because if you don't make five mistakes in a row, you, you didn't make two mistakes in a row, you're not going to make five mistakes in a row, are you? Because you already corrected. That's the point. We all make mistakes, that's okay. I like bourbon. But if I have bourbon every single night, you know, I get a lot of, all, all the people will say, I have my one glass of wine per night. It's my vice. I go, okay. So what you've done is you've elevated your blood sugar every single night such that you're not gonna burn fat very well. You're never gonna burn fat. So you wonder why as we get older, all of a sudden we got this belly of the pouch. I have women who come in and they say, until I went into menopause, I never had this problem. I have never been, I have one lady who said, I have never been on a diet my entire life. I had the blessed metabolism. Now look at this, and she's got a little patch. I go, most people will kill for that little patch, just so you know. <laughs> but, okay, so I just gave you the four rules to keep the weight off. Well, that's what we wanted to do. You don't do this to say, let me lose the weight so I gain it all back. Okay. So, now what we do is we say, wait, there's ways for us to get to where we want to be. I want to make it simple for you. I'm not here trying to make your life miserable. Okay, eat cardboard every day. Fabulous. You should see the weight come off. Okay, that doesn't work that Cardboard is cardboard, it doesn't taste good. You don't like doing it. I did the uh, watermelon diet. Loved it. Wow, delicious. Tastes great. Tons of water, high nutrients, high vitamins, high minerals, low calories, zero fat. What's in it? Sugar. sugar. So I left off the most important thing that I just told you can't do. So then you've got sugar in it, which is, okay, that's what I'm dealing with. Now, you lost weight, I lost weight. Okay, what happened the day after I stopped? Because I, I got tired of eating watermelon. I did watermelon for like a week. Okay, what happened to that? 
There goes the weight loss, just like that. Now, what we see with IDEA is I told you, we see, th we see three to four in women and five to seven in men. The reason why there's a difference is because men have more lean body mass. We got more lean body mass, you got the brains. I say that anyway. Anyway, so now we sit there and go, okay, so we go by that, we say, look, so you got, if you had great tone, if you had great tone when you were young, you sit there and go, well, you can lose weight easier than other people. Oh, no, I can't, I, I tried. And I sit there and go, okay, have you done anything like this? No, okay, then you don't know. Because we get people that come in and they say, I inherited bad genes. We had a lady who came in and said, I cannot get below 190. She was 196, okay? Week one, the first week I put her on, she came in and she was 187. Week one, she couldn't get below 190. This is a person who was dieting for at least six months, okay? So she did that. You know what she is now? How much is she now? 150, 152. So she ended up losing 40, 44 pounds. She's where she wants to be. She is in phase four, doing all of her foods at home at a periodic, hey, how you doing? That's what we're talking about. We want you to get off of this program. This is not a lifestyle. This is what this program teaches you, is the lifestyle. Chicken, turkey, fish, red meat, eggs. And you go, oh, well, I don't like tofu. Good, then don't eat tofu. But, I don't, but I'm a vegetarian, okay. I'm a vegan, okay. But here's the problem. I get people, I go, where are you getting your protein from? Well, I don't, uh, uh, I eat the little, those little corn things over there. Okay, so you go, no, no, we can't do that because you're changing your, food is only three things. It's either a carbohydrate, it's a protein, or it's a fat, right? So one of those three, when you affect one, you affect the other two. That's the problem with some of these things. They're low calorie, but they affect the other two. So if you lower your fat, like everybody tells you to do, lower your fat, decrease, Mary, you're eating too much fat. First of all, I think it's hysterical because people will go, I eat like a bird and I don't eat any fat. So you just took away the things you told me I'm doing and I'm telling you I don't do those things. But if you lower those, what happens to carbohydrates? It has to go up, it has no choice. It's a ratio, it always equals 100. Okay, so what you did was you raised the carbohydrate level, which raises the insulin level. And what did I tell you before? When insulin is high, fat burning is low. Okay, you can't lose those. You can't lose that weight. So if you say, well, I lose two pounds a week, that's a fabulous program for most people, right? Okay, but here's the problem: you have to keep going up with your expenditure. Okay, so now I'm working out two hours a day. Do you have two hours a day to work out? Yeah, right? You have two hours a day to do anything other than work on the kids, right? So you sit there and go, that's not gonna happen. You know, when you're working, you can't do that. I'm not in school anymore, but, okay, so no. So now we go and we say, okay. So there are little things that we do. We do a health and wellness consultation. Consultation is for us to sit down and go over the things that are specific to a person. They are not, I'm not gonna talk about the fact that this person has high blood pressure or this person has diabetes or whatever, I'm on this medication, I'm anxious like crazy, I can't get in my own car because I think this, mm, there's a, a answer. Okay, no, we don't do that. So we go and say, okay, so we have to individually go over and make sure that you're a candidate, make sure that you should do this and what the uh, other thing. We get you set up and say, this is how to do it. Now, somebody like you, you sit there and go, look, nah, I can't, I, you know, I get people who need to lose a couple of pounds. They, they're literally doing it. I had one lady, she said, all, I'm just exhausted all day. I'm not losing, I don't need to lose anyway. I had a husband who lost 34 pounds and a wife who lost five. You know why she lost five? Because she weighed 107 pounds, wet, light. Okay, so the point was, is she never did it that way. She was doing it about the way she felt. And she felt much better, and for all those reasons. Anyway. So I have like blood workups where you sit there and go, my cholesterol level's better, my uh, hemoglobin A1C, which is a diabetes test, a gold standard test. We get that, and you see your numbers are better. So the side effects are those things. That's fabulous. So now you're taking your own health into your own hands. You're not relying on somebody else. I will have somebody say, oh, this is an expensive program. I said, oh, you mean like the... The, the cholesterol, the statin med that you're taking for the rest of your life. The rest of your life. I didn't say like for next week. If it works so well, why do you have to keep taking it for the rest of your life? 
but we don't like the genetic. Okay, and we and sometimes it's genetic. There's sometimes a genetic component. Oh, my mom is heavy, my dad was heavy, blah blah blah, all that stuff. But you know what? We say the only genes that change are your blue genes because the size change. You don't, your mom and dad are still your mom and dad. I have my best friend who lost 137 pounds 10 years ago. His mom and dad are the same. You know, like how do you, how do you work through that and say, oh no, that's because he inherited bad genes. He looked like Norelco snowman. His face, you could barely see his eyes. And I, I, I talk about it because, because he knows that I talk about it. I go, man, you, he wouldn't have lived. That's how bad. Now, totally different. Anyway, so we go and we do a health and wellness consultation. We go over all those things. We set you up with how to do it. We tell you what you're going to have. You're allowed to eat your own dinner. Chicken, turkey, fish, red meat, eggs, tofu. You're allowed to have vegetables. You're allowed to have certain vegetables. We get rid of the bad ones. For now, doesn't mean you're never going to have a beet. I love beets, but you can't have them every day. I love pasta. I might have them once every three or four weeks. Once. I used to eat a pound of pasta every single, every third day. Second day, I had 20,000 calories. I'll show you my, my uh, uh, diet recall. 20,000 calories a day when I was in college playing football. And I couldn't gain an ounce. Now, if I looked at 20,000, I gained 50 pounds. Anyway, so we go through those things. We say, this is what we're, this is the way we're gonna do it. They set you up. This is your breakfast. This is your mid-morning snack. This is your lunch. This is your dinner. This is your late night snack. So you're eating five times a day. The reason why we do that is because we don't want you starving yourself. If starvation diets work, somebody would have invented the don't eat diet. Dr. Oz would have come up with the water diet, but they don't work. They work for the one moment that you do it. So many diets are like that. They work when you do it, but when you stop doing it, you're finished, okay? Because there's no premise to it. There's no future to it. We don't want you to have that. So we go over those things. We go over what foods you can and can't have. We set you up. Each week we weigh you in, every single week. Why? Because I do like the fact that Weight Watchers has a, um, a motivation, there's a motivation to that scale. You don't want to come in and disappoint us. You don't want to disappoint yourself. So I get people initially, they don't want to go on the scale. And I tell them, turn around, face the other way. So I say, I'll give you the differential of how much you lost. Oh, you lost six pounds. Oh, you lost four pounds. Oh, that makes 10 pounds. Then you lost three pounds. Okay, that's 13 pounds. So you did three weeks, that's 13 pounds. I say 12 to 16. For women, 12 to 16 pounds a month. Okay, so if you lose 16 pounds, people may not notice the first 16, but I told you the second 16, everybody notices. When you lost 32 and you do that in two months, people go, oh my gosh, you look great. What are you doing? Okay, anyway. So we go through those, we tell you what you're gonna do. You get your food, you get your food from home. You're allowed to have salads, okay? You're allowed to have certain vegetables. You're allowed to do those things. We just try to tell you which ones they are, and you can always make a better choice. The high glycemic index, you've heard that about in other diets. The high glycemic index means that's how fast the uptake of sugar is. Well, if it's high, what happens to fat burning? You don't want those. So sometimes cherries are better than, let's say, a banana. I love banana in my shake, my protein shake, right? All you did was lower the ratio. All you did was make it not as good. Because if it needed all that, you would have it, and then you don't lose the weight because your protein level is now leveling off. You didn't really want that. Anyway, and you can't do so much protein that it, it taps out your, uh, lip, your kidney or your liver. You can't do that. You're not trying to put yourself in, in, in health jeopardy. You're trying to make yourself healthier. So we don't like to do that. Anyhow, so then we go and we say each week we weigh you in, every third week we measure you. Pat goes through each time and she'll talk to you and she spends a lot of time. People like just come in and gab and just, okay, let's talk about it. what are you having trouble with? Well, I, sometimes I get constipated. Okay, well, we don't let you have that. Sometimes I do this and we don't, oh, um, I cheated just a little bit. I had a bigger piece of steak. Now you ready? Weight Watchers tells you the palm of your hand. Well, I'm gonna tell you, if I ever ate the palm of my hand in the steak, I guarantee you in one hour I'm looking for food. I don't know about your husband, I don't know about your dad, and you sit there and go, ah, oh, I need food. You can't give me that. That's too small. So what we do is we turn the hand over and say from the tip of your finger to your wrist, the width of your hand, thickness of your hand. If you don't exceed that, you're good. You know why that works? It works for the people who say, let's say my husband is, uh, needs to lose uh, 150, 
and I need to lose 15, and look at our hands. They're not exactly the same, I give you that, but they're a little bit off. Okay, is that fair? <laughs> no. So let's, not, let's make it fair, let's make it what it is. You both have your hands, you go from the tip of your finger to the wrist, the width of your hand thickness of your hand, that's the size of the piece of protein. So if you ate a piece of chicken as big as your hand this way, would that be like, would that be good? You wouldn't be starving with that, would you? No, that's what we say. You can't starve and lose weight. It doesn't work over time. So let's not worry about it, let's make you eat. So if you told your husband, if you said to Chris, look, you gotta eat, this is what he told me. You can have that. It doesn't mean you have to. It means if you're hungry, have it. Eat because you need to, because you're starving, not because of the emotional connection or, you know, like the moon and Jupiter lined up in the southern sky, like, you know. Anyway, so we go through all those things. I tell people, look, what I ask for is I ask for three weeks. I don't ask for, to do this for six months. I say, look, if you don't have the results that we tell you you're gonna have, in three weeks, I'll, you're either doing something wrong, you don't know, you're cheating, or I'll stop you, okay? Sometimes it's adrenal, sometimes it's thyroid, sometimes it's, there's an underlying health condition that people don't even know that they have. But the bottom line is not most, it's not genetic most, it's not, we inherit bad habits. We don't inherit, we inherit bad genes, but you know what? You can change those genes. So anyway, so we go through. We pick out, now people will go to me and they'll, they'll complain, they'll say, you know what? All you did was talk about all the bad things that I do. I go, okay, no, let's go like this. So here's peanut butter. Now Pat got this one, I got this one. So here's peanut butter, naturally more, or simply ground. What would be the worst thing to you having this peanut butter versus Skippy or Jeff? Because this is a plus ratio, this protein, there's more protein in here than there is carbohydrate. But if you look at your, per, at your peanut butter in your house at home, check it. You're gonna see that it's got, more, it's got more carbohydrate, okay? Sometimes you want offset and say, wait a minute, if I could just bring the protein level up just a little bit, okay? That's what they're doing with this protein stuff. They're saying, wait, let's, heart, let's raise the protein. Why don't we sprinkle protein powder on it? But if it's still high in carbs, that's like me saying, I'm, not, I'm gonna eat tons of pasta, but guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna offset it by eating tons of meatballs. Does that work? No. So you gotta go like this. Let me bring the carbs down here, and now I can raise the meatballs up and look at that. That's much better, okay? So, these are all things that we do. Now, I'm not gonna deny, I sit there and go, people go, oh, this is an expensive program. Remember what I said, first rule, wow. Take into consideration what other things cost. Take into consideration all the other diets that you did. Okay, well then it becomes, well, you know what, I guess. Take into consideration that you're, that you're saying this is the food price, you know what? What about the coaching price? What about every week not having to spend any more just talking to somebody and saying, okay, well this is what I'm having trouble with. I need to do this, I need to do that. Well, I want you to go this way. I want you to do this. And if you do that, you're gonna succeed. There were such minute things that people did. We saw people who were successful and people who weren't. And it wasn't huge deviations. It wasn't like, wow, I really missed that program. There's people that do. I say, what's the hardest week? Week one. Okay. So week one, we have people that lose 12, 14, 17 pounds. How can you possibly lose that much weight? Oh, it's all water weight. Okay. Well, we sit there and go, wait a minute. It's not water because it has to come back. Plus, we're making you drink more water than you ever drank in your whole life. We sit there and go, we, we recommend between 80 and 128. 128 ounces per day, that's a gallon of water. Are you doing that now? No, most people don't. But it's just the process we try to get you to do that. Why? What is a weight loss product? No, it's not. It enhances all your body processes. What are one of your body processes? Weight loss. Okay, so let's do that. Anyhow, so we go through. Because you came today, you get a discount off of uh, on, on, on the consultation. The health and wellness consultation is normally 175, we do it for 125. One time, you don't have to do that again, because once you do it, we're good. Then you come in and we go through the food, Pat will go through the food prices, we'll go through all of that. You can call up, say, I'm interested, I'm not interested. She's gonna call you once, just to say, are you interested in starting? Only because I'm going away in 10 days. If you wanted to start before I was going away, then we better get going. If you didn't, then I'm coming back on the certain day and we say, oh, I, I think I want to do it then. 
I have people that will say, I think I'm gonna do this on my own. I go, great. Okay, that was a year ago. And they gained 15 pounds from a year ago. I go, well, how's that on your own going? Because that's just an excuse. You're not getting to where you wanna be. I want you, I remember I had one pilot. I said, you know what? Your livelihood is the fact that your eyes, that you don't go to a flight physical and fail it because you can't sit. If you're a diabetic, your, your flight career is limited to over. Okay, we don't want you to do that. I had one guy, one, one guy said, I'm here not to sell you food, I'm here to make sure that you go to that little girl's wedding. You go to her wedding. Because if you keep going the way you're going, you're not making her wedding. I don't like to fear, scare people, but the bottom line is, if you're a diabetic and you have high blood pressure and you have high cholesterol and you're all the other things, you're gonna get the COPD, you're gonna get all these conditions that we don't want you to get. Got it? Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop because I black. Every once in a while what we do is we bring people back. So it's really good when you bring people back because I can shut up and let them talk and they just say, I was you. I sat in that chair and said, I don't believe this. This can't be this easy. It can't be. Well, we just had a guy who just started, how many weeks? Four weeks? Four weeks, he's 20, what? 27? 28. 28 pounds lighter in four weeks. Is it water weight? Can't be. Can't stay off of that long. No, he's doing exactly what we told him. Is he starving himself? No, he eats. He eats five times a day, but he lost 28 pounds. Now, will he carry that through, through five months or whatever he is till he's done? For him, no. No, he doesn't need to carry that on. But that's seven pounds per week, hello. Wow, what programs do that when you're still healthy? So we don't want to do that. So I'm gonna stop, you can stop there.